Hi. In this video, I will show you how to perform shape optimization in Comso Multiphysics. I have prepared a beautiful example to demonstrate this procedure. Now, this example does not have physics involved. It's only a geometry problem, but it shows the procedure and the steps we have to take. In a future video, I will make another example that has a physics involved, and we will see the complete procedure later on in another video. Okay, so what we want to do. In geometry, we have a theorem called isopermetric theorem. It states that among all closed curves in a plane with a given fixed area, the circle has the smallest perimeter. And uh, basically, all of these shapes, for example, they have same area. Uh, the circle has the minimum perimeter. So we have this inequality, and the inequality becomes equal when uh, the shape is a circle. And you can put the area and perimeter of a circle here. You see that this becomes equal. The proof of this uh, inequality is not that obvious. I'll put a link in the description where you can find two beautiful proofs for this uh, inequality. But anyway, we know that this is true. So if we take a shape, like general shape like this, triangular, um, and if we assume that the area is fixed and we perform a shape optimization to minimize the perimeter, then eventually we expect that the final shape should be a circle that has same area, but it's a circle, so perimeter is lesser uh, than the original shape based on this theorem. All right, so let's see how to perform this uh, optimization. So we open console. We make a 2D mathematics optimization. We take shape optimization. Study a stationary and then done. All right, so I create a general space or so a rectangle, something like this. And now I create my initial shape. Let's do a sketch and then let's say we have this. This is our initial triangle. And then we want to find which shape will have the minimum perimeter if uh, we fix the area. So first thing that we do, we go to definition, right click on definition, probes, make a domain probe. So in domain probe, only select the shape. Okay. So in the type of probe, I select integral. Now the expression, I leave it as one. And because it's an integral, integral of one over this gives us the surface of this shape. Again, definition, right click probe. This time I select the boundary probe. So I remove all the boundaries and only select uh, these boundaries. Again, I take type of probe as integral. The expression is one. So if you take integral over this boundary, it gives us the perimeter which is in meter, obviously, the length of this curve. Okay, so we have already defined the probes, which is the domain probes and the boundary probes. Now we come to shape optimization. We click here, we right click, we create a free shape boundaries. And here I'm going to select these boundaries because these boundaries are going to move in the space, are going to be uh, varied until we reach to the optimized shape. And here there are some options. For example, maximum displacement, we can select a box. This means that this original shape can move within a box which has uh, this much of deviation from the actual shape. It uh, prevents the shape to go completely in a wrong direction. So it keeps a kind of boundary around the shape. And then this minimum feature size, maybe I select user defined. Uh, let's put it 0, 0.5. So this means that. Uh, the corners, the radius of each element would not be lesser than this. This is important because if you want to eventually find a shape and you want to manufacture that shape, you don't want to have very tiny geometry details in, the, in that shape. So we have to limit that to a certain number. We cannot go very, very tiny uh, values. Okay, so now we perform mesh. We select, let's say, really good mesh. All right, now we come to study, right click, go to optimization, shape optimization. Here are the solvers. So there are multiple solvers, uh, nonlinear solvers, uh, method of, uh, what is that? Method of maximum asymptotes. I don't know. There are different solvers that um, basically, depending on the type of exercise that you have, some of them might perform better. Let's, let's select this one here. We can set the tolerance. So let's set the tolerance like that. Here we have to choose our objective function. Objective function in this case is the 
perimeter of the object because we want to minimize that perimeter. So here we click from definition and we select this boundary probe because boundary probes give us the perimeter of the of this shape. And then the type of optimization is minimization. We come down here. We can define the constraint. So I click from definition. I take the domain probe because we want to have a fixed area for this shape. So let's put an area 0 0.25 square meter, 0 0.25 square meter. So we actually fix the area to that level. Maybe we want to plot while it's running. And uh, let's say we click on the study, generate default plot for immediate stored solution. Now, if, if you want to see the change of the shape when the simulation is running, we can actually create a surface plot here and uh, put a line plot so that we see how this shape is changing. Or alternatively, we can let the simulation run first and then console itself produce a default plot, which uh, has beautiful settings. So I'm going to use that one. But in order to prevent taking a lot of time, so in this case, I just set this one to one iteration. And then that plot will appear here. And then I come back here and make this one uh, multiple iterations. OK, so now we can run this simulation. OK, so now you see that this initial plot is appeared here, which has the line plot. And also the arrow plot shows how the original shape is deformed. Now I come back to this shape optimization and here put, for example, 20 uh, iterations. And now if I run the simulation, we can basically see how the initial shape is changing and gradually reaching to the optimized uh, final shape. So this is the first iteration and gradually basically it changes it. And here we see that there are two plots. So this one is actually the constraint, the area, because original shape that I made, it had this area, 0 0.12 square meter. But we set it to 0 0.25, so eventually the constraint is fulfilled. And after the constraint is fulfilled, the optimization basically tries to minimize the perimeter. And obviously, based on that theorem that I mentioned, we know that uh, the minimum perimeter belongs to a circle. So the optimization also simplifies. Eventually, it finds the circle, basically. All right, another point that I want to mention is that if we right click here and create a mesh, we plot. We notice that inside the object, we have a lot of deformed mesh. If the original object will be far away from the final optimized shape, during the optimization, the mesh will be so much deformed that eventually the optimization cannot continue and console basically gives an error and the simulation will stop. So under those conditions, maybe we have to do adaptive mesh and also perform remesh during the optimization. And this is something that I will teach you uh, in another video. Also, let's look at the time of optimization. So you see that for this problem with the solver I select, it took one minute and 11 seconds. If I change the solver, let's, I select this one. For example, I also put 20 here. Let's see how much time this one takes. So depending on the solver that you select, depending on the problem, the number of constraints, um, the smoothness of uh, the structure, different solver may take different amount of time and uh, you want to choose the proper solver. So this one also managed to give us the final shape. And uh, I assume that it will stop very soon. All right, let me delete this mesh. Uh, this is the final shape. If I disable this one from that triangle, we have this one. And also the optimization time in this case is 2 minutes, 12 seconds. And if I select the other one, let's say putting the limits, for example, 0 0.2, this one takes much longer time. Let's do it and see how much time it takes. What will be the final shape with this number of iteration and this tolerance?
all right so the simulation is completed using mma method and yes we also got a, a circle if i turn on this one and also add mesh we can see yes so this is basically the final optimized shape and if you look at the time it's nine minutes 42 seconds but this is for 100 iteration you saw that this mma method was much slower compared to the other two methods so as i said depending on the optimization problem you may want to choose different solver different methods to speed up the optimization process all right so that's all for this video see you next time bye